So I guess to, to begin with, we have a lot of observational studies. So these are studies where we track uh, populations, uh, large groups of people over many, many years, and we see who develops kidney disease over time and what were they eating. And we, we've got many large observational studies, these studies, where we see that those who are eating a more healthy plant-based dietary pattern, so those who are rich with fruits, vegetables, whole grains, beans, and lentils, uh, they have a markedly lower risk of developing kidney disease. So from the outset, uh, eating in this way is, is uh, shown to reduce your risk at least 20 to 30% um, compared to uh, eating a more Western or animal-based animal eating pattern. Um, and that 20 to 30 percent, that, that is a statistic that is uh, despite adjust, these studies adjust for contributing factors um, like uh, weight and the development of diabetes and high blood pressure. And so that 30 percent is a real uh, underestimate, uh, underestimation, if you ask me. Um, in fact, there's one, one of these large studies um, from China who followed up patients for 15 years, found that those who uh, ate meat had a much higher risk of developing kidney disease. There was a clear dose-dependent association. So the more meat that was consumed on a regular basis, especially this is red meat I'm talking about, uh, the, the higher the risk of developing kidney disease. And they've noticed an inverse for plant proteins. So in fact, after some statistical analysis, they found that just replacing one serve of meat with soy or legume plant-based protein reduced the risk of developing kidney disease by 50%. That's one daily serve of meat, replacing it with soy or legumes. So a real marked risk reduction.